They just came on now. Let's try to get closer to the stage. Sorry. Excuse me. Why are there? Thanks a million. Do you want to go on my shoulders? Yeah, that'd be unreal, thanks. Wow. Three celebrates connections made by music this summer. Find out more at 3.ie forward slash music. Blog Talk Radio. Always look up, never give up, and you will reach your goals. You're important, you're more than enough. And here she is. Your host for Rolling with the Diva, Sabrina Williams. Thank you. It's a beautiful, windy day here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I hope you guys are doing good. We're going to start off with some music here. That was Lady Cassandra with Send Me. I am um, today talking about reality shows, why we watch them. I, I pre-recorded something that I found that I like, um, so I'm going to play it for you guys. I thought it was very interesting um, that we watch. Re- I think we watch really reality shows, even as I'm thinking about it for our own reasons. Because I was grouping reality shows as shows such as. Um, 
you know, uh, love and hip hop, things like that. Not not the cooking shows, not the war, the cooking show wars. But anyway, I'm gonna play this this part for you, and then we'll come back and talk about that. I thought that was, I just I just think it's interesting how um, we have a fetish with reality shows. Here we go. Happy Tuesday. It's August 21st, 2018, and I'm Sabrina Williams, and I'm your host for Rolling with the Diva. Today is a pre-recorded show um, because I am a little tired today from rehab, and plus I want to watch a movie, and I just thought it would just was a good topic to talk about, um, about why we like reality shows. You know what? I have to be honest. I really haven't watched a reality show in a long time until I got to Kendrick Care here at the rehab, which I love this place. But I was watching it the other day, or yesterday, because I was finished with OT, um, occupational therapy, and I was just resting and talking to other people. And I would think it was like love and hip-hop or some women, but it was an African-American show. And I, the women were beautiful, but how do we watch reality shows? I don't know. I like I said, I'm not into them. I watch, I watch Criminal Minds, so that's a series, and I've been watching it for going on like almost 13 years. Why do I like it? I like it because of it makes you think ahead of the um, what's going to happen. The plot, it's serious. Some of these things you can read about in the news. I do like murder mysteries. I guess there are the reality shows for that, but I don't really watch too many of those. But I was looking at this reality show, and first of all. Do these women ever have a day that they don't have bad makeup and they don't look just that good? Nothing wrong. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with looking that good and that beautiful, but come on now. Really? I understand it's for the camera, but I was just like, wow. Then I was, um, then they, they come out and they argue, just argue, and they know they want to cause fights. And that made me think of why are, why do people create reality, reality shows and what's it, what's it based on? So I looked up, actually, I looked up a research site to talk about this because I thought that that was just an interesting topic. Do people actually create reality shows to get more audience? What do you guys think? But before I do that, I want to remind you guys that um, Rolling with the Diva um, radio show is brought to you by www.divineroyaltytravel.transverseglobal.com. Again, www dot d i v or actually h t t p the the colon is black slash black slash d i v d i v i n e r o y a l t y t r a v e l dot trans t r a v e r u s global dot com. I click here on my site. You can go ahead and book, and then I'll get back to you. All right. So on to the show. So what? So, so let me show you. Let me tell you about some of the things I found. I found it interesting because it is. It did say. Now this was taken from. Um, actually, um, well, that's reality stock stock, stock show photos. Um, this was eleven behind the scenes um, secrets of reality show producers, and I found this interesting and understand why people watch reality shows. Because of the draw in, you're feeding a need, you're making people feel good, you're making them want something, you're making them want to buy the commercial that they see, the cars, because they'll emphasize the cars, the makeup, the brands, the parties, whatever. So here it is. It's from mentalfloss.com, article 93591. 11 behind the scenes secrets of reality TV producers by Daniela Broff, B R A F F, March 24, 2017. I'll just quote her. We love reality shows as much as the next guilty pleasure fanatic. Not me. Whether it's the Real Housewives series, HTTV, or the Food Network. And then I had to think about the Food Network. Now, I really do like the Food Network. I never really thought of it as a reality show. I know they do have the people that come on and they do the, do that. So, I don't know. I guess there's a lot of definition in that. And what does it take to produce one of these shows? We turn to some reality TV producers to get a look behind the scenes. So, for one... And this is again from mentalfloss.com. One, sometimes rally stars aren't booked until the very last minute. It's difficult to make things work, says Stephen Vaps, who has worked on re- re- several reality shows. Two, find this interesting. Working on a reality show can be harder than working on a scripted show. 
Reality can be harder simply because it's a real person. Angelica Brown, who has worked on many of the popular dating shows, explains that human element that that human element makes shows so great also make it precarious for us. The worst part, Brown says, is that there are many times when people go through the whole casting process, get selected, and then bail out the last minute. Hmm, that's not good. Um, three, the no, no, the bad singers on those singing shows don't actually know that know they're bad. Wow. Okay, that's interesting. Four. The producers know what they want to happen. And that's what I found interesting. The producers are looking for an outcome because these producers, they want another episode. They want another series. They want to be on TV for a while. That's just my interpretation of my words. And this is what this was quoted from the article. The producers go into every episode knowing what they want, and it's our job to get it, whether it's tears, personal growth, a killer home renovation, or a couple kissing. And like on this one show yesterday, they were arguing, and then one then the, they were arguing about just being friends, and then arguing about that one lady just, just told another lady, yeah, your man slept with my secretary, and then the other lady was snatching her hair, wee-wah, and then it just got, got into a whole other thing, like, should you be even be wearing that color hair and new clothes? What about that? You need to put some clothes on. Just a lot of questions I have. Five, they were used creative editing. And the, then this business is called Frankenbite. Sometimes it's just, it's just to make the conversation easier. They put a whole bunch of unrelated scenes together and, and then make a sound bite. Six, you know who there's all, you know there's always a villain. That's what you're counting on. That's what the producers like. And unfortunately, that's what we like. Because I know in Criminal Nines, of course I watch it because I know that there's villains, but I know that there's the good guys too. If all else fails, this is number seven, producers will force the ending. I thought that was ending. On Love It or List It, the homeowners or participants are supposed to decide whether they love their home after a renovation or they want to put their house in the market. But according to some sources, producers make them record both sets of the endings. They love the house and they list the house. Then the producers decide which ending they prefer based on what will make for the best television. Interesting. So some of these, even though they're reality, and my fingers are in quotes, they're scripted. Number eight, some of the houses of, uh, the house hunters are purchased before the show starts. What would look like 24 hours was actually done two or three weeks ago. I find that really interesting. What would take a cake three hours to make, they did in an hour, so know that. Um, nine, several weeks of filming can go into each show. Sometimes it may be, may be a few hours on the three-minute segment. Ten, tons of people work behind the scenes to do this. From casting and editing, there could be a few dozen people working on this. Again, you want the show. Eleven, it's not a cash cow for participants. Many shows offer participants discounts for their dresses and home improvement supplies, but if you're on most renovation shows, you'll need a budget of your own, Brown says. Wow, interesting. But there is people who make money, the people who do the commercials, the people who um, who um, who are, you know, selling their clothes because people are like they want to be like that's the makeup because you know they talk about their brand so let's be real with that so I think sometimes we're watching a reality show just in my opinion to see how somebody else is dressing we want to see their life and, and we can discard ours for just those few minutes of time and their life can look worse than ours so I'm not discounting reality shows I just think we need to have a reality moment and say what are we looking for in life and what are we hoping and is a reality show going to give us that hope or is there something else now, there's a whole other show I'm going to do with my um, nieces, Rashonda, Ratasha, and Cheyenne, and their mom, Katrina, about some of these things that people say on reality shows and what they should not, because that's just a whole other commentary, and these people need to stop it, because yesterday, I'm going to tell you what, yeah, some of y'all on that one reality show need to put some clothes on. Nobody goes around dressed like that, and that kind of affair with those six to nine-inch heels on, I don't even know if they were nine, and looking like that. Some of y'all just need to just stop that. You know, not need pulling people hair. You're grown women. We need to be role models and not um, be do, and not do that because we have we we are coming into where women are more violent. We have domestic violence issues, so we need to have some more role model shows. So um, I'll be looking for those kind of shows, and if you guys know of them, let me know. But I thought this was the interesting quid bit there. You guys have a great day. Love you all. This is Rolling with the Diva signing off. And I wish you guys the best. If you are suffering from mental health, please call 211 in your state, in the United States, and they will be able to send you to or help, um, hopefully with resources for um, no cost or um, minimal cost insurance for mental health. Go to your local church. Sometimes churches offer counseling. Thank you for listening to Rolling with the Diva. You are wonderful. You are wanted. You are loved. You're more than enough, and you bring joy by, to this world. You have special skills. Tonight, before you go to bed and close your eyes, uh, ask yourself, 
three things that you do you did well today, and there are three. Don't tell me you didn't, because I know today I got up, I woke up, and I was nice to everybody, and I encourage people. We all do something. Remind yourself of the goodness. You beat yourself up for so long, don't do it. You be, uh, build your mind, body, and spirit. Have a great day, and love you. And that was part of my um, pre-recording of, of um, what I thought of reality shows. It is it, it is now about five, oh, well, almost four. No, almost five o'clock um, in Las Vegas, Nevada. You guys know all the things about I love you, you're one. And I hope today that you guys will learn from the show, not picking on reality shows, but that you would see that create your own reality. Be your own boss. Be your own hero. And find what you need to find in life because when you find what you need in Jesus, everything will be okay. Remember Jeremiah 29 11, God knows the plans to prosper you, not to harm you, to give you a hope and future. Man, I'm getting really good with that verse. It's like one of my favorite verses. And I'm reminded of this, that it was just a rehab. Yes, rehab is hard for my gift because my gift is really jacked up and um, having to approach it all my life. And it's doing it for years and then it's going to be a bit at 10 years old or years old. 